final word for wisdom.com. Fueled by Kookaburra Cricket. I've got one of Kookaburra's own with me here. Australian all-rounder, shall we call you, Sophie Molyneux. You've had such a fantastic start to your international career, especially the last six weeks. What a roller coaster you've been on ahead of this World Cup semi-final. Yeah, it's, it's gone really quick, I suppose. And, um, yeah, I still can't believe I'm here. That's playing a World Cup semi-final against the West Indies. So, yeah, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed every, every game. I've gone out and got to wear the green and the gold and um, really looking forward to tomorrow night. And you're, of course, now for Australia's first choice spinner. A lot of responsibility coming into a game like that tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a really good bowling lineup. So um, Shelley Nitschke has been working really closely with the, yeah. with the spinners this whole tour. And I think, um, yeah, I think anyone who, who, everyone's ready to go. So um, whatever the situation, anyone could sort of um, take, that, take that lead role, I think. It looks like you really enjoyed yourself over here. We all saw the footage of you DJing last week out of the school. Um, is it, must just be a, a whirlwind being at a World Cup, but also something very enjoyable for you. Yeah, absolutely. It's still um, quite surreal that I'm here in a World Cup and um, I've absolutely loved it over here and I think it's the, the West Indian culture that I, I really enjoy and uh, everyone's really up and about and, and always got a smile on their face and it was really easy just to, to jump into the um, school appearance and have a lot of fun as, as did all the girls. So um, yeah, that, that DJ was a bit of a, a side, a side to it all but um, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed the, the last three or four weeks here. You look to have some skills as well. Have you done some DJing in the past? No, I had no idea what I was doing. I was lucky I had a good support crew with me. Is the fact that you're a country kid um, help with this sort of laid-back, confident disposition growing up in Bairnsdale? Uh, yeah, I suppose um, growing up in the country, I think you sort of learn to not take yourself too seriously and not take um, anything too seriously, I suppose, and being able to laugh have a laugh and, and everything like that so um, yeah I think and also you, you don't take things for granted and I'm just really enjoying um, being here and um, yeah having these opportunities and and yeah being able to wear the green and the gold and to be able to travel to places like this it's just it's it's amazing and um, yeah I'm really lucky to be doing it. And a massive part of your story is of course the Women's Big Bash League and the success of that competition giving you a platform it's a it's a wonderful thing you've had the chance to do as a teenager really isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I've been really lucky to have been exposed um, to that sort of level of cricket from 16, 17 years old and um, I think it's put, put a lot of young girls in, in good stead to be able to transition from domestic cricket to, to international cricket and um, yeah, just you know, have them the likes of Catherine Brunt um, over and playing the last three years in the Big Bash. Is, it's just turned it into a pretty much a, a global global standard competition and um, yeah I've really really enjoyed my time at the Renegades. And I assume playing on TV all the time in the Big Bash means that when you're faced with the TV cameras in a global tournament it makes that a little bit easier? Yeah I suppose so it's, it seems funny but you sort of just forget about that now and when I first started it was there was a big hype around playing on TV and everything like that and it just shows how far it's all come um, and yeah I suppose we're really lucky that it's it's almost a norm now that we're on TV and um, we're really really enjoying the exposure that this group's getting and um, yeah we're just hopefully put on a good performance and um, yeah show Australia and the world what we've got. What's the mood like in the group ahead of tomorrow's semi-final? Yeah up and about um, I feel like the squad's been in a great place the last the last few months and um, yeah we've sort of built built up to this so I think we're, we're ready to go and um, yeah we're really looking forward to, to getting out there and we think there's going to be a massive crowd um, the West Indian home fans are going to be there so yeah we're really looking forward to it. Sophie Molly, congratulations on the start of your international career let's hope it's a long one and good luck tomorrow night. Thank you thanks. Uh, my first cricket experience was with the, the West Benzale Cricket Club back at home um, I reckon I was about seven or eight playing in under-13s boys and I remember my first game I had to get the boys to uh, pad me up because I had no idea what was going on and I was that short my first ball I faced landed on top of my head after two bounces so um, yeah that was my first cricket experience.